Welcome to the Zach and Coffee YouTube channel. Oh shit! That's not how that was supposed to go. Zach here, and as you saw in the thumbnail, I bought a wrecked car. Come on in and let me show you what this car is all about. So this is a 2016 50 Mustang GT with the performance packs. It's got the bigger brakes, better suspension, and it's also a stick car. This is a pretty rare combination, for as you could tell, it's a convertible. So pretty neat car. Very excited about it. And uh, this is uh, the main damage we got going on here, as you can tell in the front end. And I do have a remedy for that. I'll show you here in a second. But what's important when you're buying a car that's totaled out from an insurance auction is to make it worth your while, you got to make sure the engine and the trans are good because those are very expensive to buy uh, out of the car. You know, if it's not, if it's totaled, you could, yeah, you could buy one, but in uh, Sell the rest of it, try to get your money back. But it's easier to just buy a car that's already good to go. So that is good to go on this car. Shock tires aren't screwed up. So our front suspension is going to be fine. Do have some frame rail damage. We'll get into that. And then as you work your way down the car, <clears throat> the convertible top's good. I do need to put a dash in it because the airbag did go off inside. But this door does have some dings. So that's replaceable. It's Hard to replace are the quarter panels just because it's the body of the car, unibody car. And uh, that's all good. You can work your way around. Back of the car, is, it didn't get hit in the rear or nothing, so don't have to worry about anything there. And then we do we do have a couple nicks and dings. Like there's a nick here, the door's got a little nick in it. But that's stuff that when you're buying a total car, you just got to look past, right? We're getting a discounted car. No way could I have paid fifty-five, fifty-eight thousand for this car, um, brand new or even used. It's still a very expensive car, so that's how you get a cool car on the cheap side. Is put some elbow grease in it, and uh, with a little bit of luck, you can have yourself a nice car. That takes care of the outside of the car and the frame damage. We'll show you the interior. So as you can see. The airbags went off. We'll have to replace the steering wheel airbag. We'll have to put a new airbag in the dash, which that's going to take a complete dash. So do you got to go to Midway Mustang and get a dash. We'll have to get some seats and uh, some other little knickknacks in the interior. But uh, for the most part, still pretty clean. It drives like an, a new car. Oh, can't shut the door without pushing the fender in. Don't want to screw up the paint any more than it already is there uh, so that's need to get this car taken apart but I need to have it where we're gonna fix it and uh, so that'll be in the coming months or this winter really been waiting for race season to get over with that way I have time to just knock this car out all at once so here's the remedy to fixing that front end I do have some subframe damage so if you want to come in here this Black frame part is uh, the lower suspension points, and I'm gonna change that out. And uh, then this is the actual frame rail of the car, and it did take some damage, but we'll chop it in this area and uh, take the good portion of this car and stick it on the rest of that car, just to make sure uh, we don't have any problem putting the front end together. Minus the frame damage that this car took, a very expensive portion of it, are the body panels so so you could tell need a new bumper grill headlights headlights are what thousand bucks a piece so super expensive uh fenders expensive all that's expensive to have repainted and paint matching can be tough with the front clip you pretty much get everything you need and it's pretty expensive so i i had to pay 4500 bucks total with tax for this uh from midway mustang which we'll get into after i talk about the car but you pretty much get the front half of a, of a Mustang. And they do take the engine, the trans, uh, quite a few of the little components. They pull the dash and uh, take the suspension parts like the arms and uh, rotor scalpers, all that stuff. Uh, and, and just basically give you the shell, which is what I need to get this car back on the road. Uh, I've already bought a new radiator for it. I will have to buy an AC condenser. But those are the main ticket items that I'll already have. 
So now let's get into showing you where I got the front clip. And that came from Midway Mustang. Patrick and I went and picked it up. And what they basically do is they buy a car. So they do, they sell a lot of engine packages for people doing resto mods or rat rods. And uh, anyone that really wants a Ford engine and transmission combo, you can buy it from Midway Mustang. And then with that, they also sell some Mustang parts. So what they do is this car originally was smashed in the rear. And they literally just saws all it right down uh, the A pillar. And it leaves you with this. I will say the only thing I don't like about the front clip from Midway Mustang is they didn't clean it after they ran the saws all over it. So on the hood, it's got a lot of rust, rust speckles where the metal shards from the saws all landed on the hood and then started to leave rust stains and eat into when they were hot into the clear coat. And uh, that's about the only complaint I have. Other than that, these guys are great to work with. They have pretty much everything you need for Mustangs. And they're dabbling in Super Duties, dabbling in Jeeps, and dabbling in Camaros. And uh, let's roll that footage right now. My name is Taylor Spicer. I work here at Midway Mustang, DeWitt, Iowa. I've uh, been here about four years. Business has been in this location for about 10. Uh, owner's been in business with it for about 13, 14 now, I believe. Um, out here in the lot, we got the bargain bin, as we call it. Uh, basically, it's all the scrap, junk, broken parts. There's some stuff in there we just don't sell, just like plastics and stuff. But you guys, will you guys still pull out of that area, or is that all just waiting to go to scrap? It depends. It's typically all going to scrap, but if somebody's like, oh, I need a piece of plastic or this specific carpet, and if it's not junk or ruined or wet yet, we can still get it out right. of there. But nine times out of ten, we can pull it out of these cars over right. here. And then... You just have bigger components over there waiting. Yeah, there's a front clip over there waiting to ship out. Uh, F-250 bed, uh, a couple frame sections, frame rails. That's actually a quarter of a Jeep. Uh, rear frame section of a truck. Uh, we got some wreck trucks out here, the mainly Mustangs. Just some more scrap bins. There's a lot out here lately. Been buying a lot. There's a Camaro over there. Uh, 21 F-150, that's a diesel, 6.7. So it's Midway Mustang, but you guys don't just focus on Mustangs, you dabble in a... A little bit of everything. Stuff. We do the SS Camaros from 10 to 17, typically. Uh, well, 10 to 20, I guess. Not as much the new ones anymore. For some reason, people don't buy those parts. I guess right. they're not flopping them, crashing them like they do the Mustangs and the older stuff. But... Uh, yeah, 0304 Cobras, 07 and up GT500s, typically 15 and up S550s now. We, uh, we did do the 11 to 14s back when they were less or more in style, I should say. Right. Trucks, Jeeps, not so much Jeeps no more. We'll walk through there, get some shots. There's a Camaro F-150 and then that was a 7.3. A That's a 6.7. Or a 6.7. Oh. Was the engine still good or was the block cracked? Or? Uh, it's got some front accessories damage. We know that for sure, but the block we're hoping's fine. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize you guys were getting into diesels. That's our first one, believe it or not. Right on, but we just definitely the out. That was our other first F-250. We're still kind of figuring out what the F-250 stuff's worth and how well it moves before we buy more. So, right. but you guys could see definitely a ton of Mustangs here, and and these guys are the ones to call. But uh, we haven't even got to the storage inside. So you want to head yeah. over there and show us show us the tear down area and and your parts storage. tight over here. Don't have as much space as we need nowadays. <laughs> then they use this big wheel wheel loader with a huge set of forks on it to move the cars around. And then there's a the front clip just bought. So this is 
is where we do all our teardowns at, typically on this rack here. He's the main guy for that, that's Tim. Um, tear it all down, get all the parts clean, get the scrap out, and then we'll clean the parts, take them over to those shelves over there where me and the owner Eric will take pictures of the stuff and get it listed on our website, uh, MidwayMustang.com. And then we have eBay, uh, Midway Mustang Parts on eBay. Uh, all the boxes for when we ship parts out, we ship every day, typically 10 to 55 items. So what are we, what are we looking at here? This is actually a brand new Predator engine out of a 2020 GT500. And those have, well, like 760, 760 horse? 760, yep, at the crank. And then what will folks put this in? Uh, I believe this guy's doing an F100. F100? But we've had somebody with interest in one for a Fox body. We've had another guy for a C10, I believe. Um, sometimes we don't know, though. And sometimes guys send us finished projects, sometimes they don't, so we never get to see it. But sometimes they do, so if you watch this and you're a guy that does that, send us a finished product. This is the warehouse side. Typically all your Mustang stuff's over here. Camaro with trucks over here. We have a little Mustang over here. Cobra shelves back there with the older Shelby stuff. Here's our engine shelf. All our seats and dashes are up high. It's definitely not your typical salvage yards. These folks are definitely organized and, and uh, can tell you pretty much right away if they got something. Rear ends, more seats, transmissions, we got doors, engines, drivetrains. That's a pile of 10 to 15 Camaro engine parts that we haven't pictured or cleaned yet. A few aftermarket things in there. Um, cooler stuff for this got side. Some got the toys. brand new Shelby truck, uh, Super Snake, brand new from Ford 2021. That'll make 775. Uh, with the Gen 5 Whipple on it. And then we have the 2020 GT500 here. Uh, we did a Palm Beach Dyno ported blower and a taller lid on that with an E85 tune and a full exhaust. It makes about, I think he said 1160 at the rear wheels, something around there. Goodness. 1160, 1170. Uh, that's the one we went nines with. Okay, the that's when you had the strip. 147 mile an hour at nine, I think it was 990. Believe, and then the 2014 GT500. That's got a big old liquid cooled Kenny Bell on it. About 750 horse out of that guy. Blast roof car, non-track pack. And then above that, we have the custom 93 Cobra with a Gen 4 Whipple Coyote swap in it. That's all custom. I wish I could lower it. That's a lot of moving around. It's got GT350R Recaros. They got the red stitching and the R on them and everything. It's a really clean car. Did you guys do the swap yourself in there? We did the everything on that car except for paint. Okay. Yeah, I saw it when it was on the ground and had the hood open last time. And you guys did a nice job real clean in the engine bay. Yep, Avalanche Gray. Uh, GT350 color as well. And then we have his investment car, as he calls it, I guess. It's a yeah. 05 Ford GT. Car in a bubble. Uh, all stock. It's in a bubble because it doesn't get driven just because it's a valuable car. He really likes it. It's actually only got 700 miles on it. Jeez. Yeah, that's wild. over there just more doors rear ends there's a short block up there that's actually a 2 turbo eco boost out of one of my uh, old focus st cars okay. <laughs> i haven't done nothing with that yet Got is that predator over there is everything on the ebay store or it's literally it's everything we have and sell is on ebay except for airbags due to their most recent policy they won't allow us to sell airbags because we're not an approved seller oh, for wow. whatever reason okay. and they're not really helpful in telling us how to become an approved seller right so we have our website for that reason that literally everything will be on other than like 
your cheaper chinsier aftermarket stuff like if we have like an aftermarket wing that's kind of just eh, and we'll sell it for like 40 bucks typically we'd only ebay that okay but the website will have all your nicer stuff all your stock stuff all your oem uh drive trains pretty much everything's everything's out there everything's listed so if you need anything else you can give us a call we can get parts out of the cars here out of the cars out there um yeah because patrick you just bought a salvage car and put it together using midway mustang parts and i think you guys actually worked together yep, to get he that came out here and grabbed his front bumper off me went and got it painted and the car looks brand new never yeah. happened yeah and you're able to find some other little odds and airbags ends and the knee, the cut knee down airbag from, especially yeah cut down from buying the cost of new <laughs> Yeah. yeah, he was actually one of the guys. He came out. We actually had to get a couple extra plastics for him off the cars <laughs> outside. So if you need them shipped or anything, as long as they're not crazy big, because the crazy big stuff's not worth it to you guys just because of how much it's going to cost to ship it. Yeah. It's like a $30, $40 piece of plastic, but the shipping on it's probably going to be 100 bucks because the box would be this big, like the corner quarter plastics, you know. We couldn't ship those reasonably. Right. But you guys do, you ship your engines and... Yep, we can ship all that freight. Uh, doors, rear ends, engines, trains, drive trains, dashes. They all ship uh, via freight line on pallets. Everything else we ship U UPS or USPS, Postal, postal Service. Okay. Um, yeah, typically guys, everything's three three to four day shipping. Got quite a few, quite a few colors of doors too. I know my... Uh, Dad, brother, and sister have all bought doors here, and I, I can't remember if we bought a hood, but, and fenders. Yeah. But this is definitely the place to call if you need Mustang parts, and, and they're dabbling in Camaros and Super Duties, and do have some Jeep stuff, so definitely look up Midway Mustang, and hit up their website, and give these guys a call. All right, so I'm over here. I think my car, back, the back half of the car I just bought, is sitting over here. I'd have to go back and look at the pictures to see which one. But I want to show you kind of what these cars look like and how they end up. So you can see here's this one. And again, I'm not sure 100%. I know mine was smashed in the back. But it's either going to be this car or it's this car up here. But these cars just get totaled out and uh usually midway mustang buys the ones that are smashing in the back so that's how they have the front clips available uh that way the drivetrain of the car is still good so they can sell it uh like you'll you saw or you will see if we haven't showed it yet um in the tour make sure you hit that subscribe button welcome to the zach and coffee youtube channel Oh!